Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and still with me in the studio is Vanessa Hughes, who is the executive director of the Larry Hughes Foundation, an organization that she started because of inspiration by a younger son and, um, and several children who are who were busy with Larry going off to play basketball, and then your little Justin who had heart issues and medical problems, and there was a struggle financially, and there was an angel in your life, and now you are an angel in so many people's lives. Right. Yeah. I try very hard. Yeah. So you're helping dozens of families. Yes. And what are some of, you've talked a little bit about some of the ways that you help people financially and find resources. So how do you go about doing that? What we do is we use the, the children's hospitals, Cardinal Glennon and St. Louis Children's Hospital. Their social workers identify family families that are in need. And then we have a grant application and the social worker will give the grant application to the family and they fill everything out with them. They put the doctor's information, they forward it on to us because they have identified those families that are in need beyond the needs that necessary needs that they can help them with. So at that point, we review the applications. That we have a, a small board, there's seven of us on the board. We review the application and there has not been very many, some things like buying a house we can't do, mm -hmm. but there's not been very many um, applications that we've had to turn down for the most part. We've granted the most of the um, requests that have come through our office. That must make you feel great. Great. If it's a wonderful feeling. And you meet these families and get to know them? Right. And you know, it's not basically like b about what I do because we depend on the community mm -hmm. to assist us. I mean, the funds that are raised or funds that come in from um, our fundraisers that we have every year and um, different fundraisers that we do throughout the year. So that those donations actually are what we use, but we use 100% of the, the contributions are issued back to the families. We don't pay staff, we don't do anything else but help families when, they're, when, they, when they contact us for assistance. So is your staff all volunteer then? All volunteer. Wow. All volunteer, we have some, we've just reloaded our staff, our, uh, board to get new younger board members. Uh, I'm probably the oldest one there. So we, we have pretty much, and Larry's now the president of the foundation. So we're trying to drive it to that age where, you know, those are the ones that are affected the most, that are in need, uh, especially when it comes to organ donation and needs for kid kidneys and hearts. And so trying to get the young, the face of the young generation out there is what we're working on now. Right, right, that's great. Now, so what are some ways that the community can get involved? You've got an event coming up, some fundraisers. We, right? have, we have an event coming up. We're also working on what we're calling I Promise to Become an Organ Donor. And that's gonna, we're gonna try to get like 250 organ donors. We're working with Mid-America Transplant and trying to get 250 people by the end of the year to become organ donors, to sign their cars, to sign their driver's license. So that's our mission, while Mid-America Transplant needs 10,000. So mm -hmm. we're uh, kind of pushing that to, you know, to So you're looking for organ donors, and yes. then you have an event coming up next week. Yes. That sounds like it's exciting. perfect for this heat. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. Yes, next week on July 6th and 7th, that's going to be our fundraising weekend is what we're tabbing it as. And what we're doing is on Friday, we're going to have a dunk for donors at CBC Christian Brothers High School. Um, that's where Larry graduated from. Um, we're going to have an organ, uh, organ donor registry drive slam dunk contest. Oh, so it's not water dunk. <laughs> no water dunk. We're going to have some water. No, we're going to have some real dunkers in the house. Okay, so we're, we're going with the basketball thing. We're going to go with the basketball <laughs> thing. No water, real basketball. Okay. Hey, that's a good idea, though. I think about that next it's year. Right, right now. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, we're going to have real dunkers. Uh, Larry has invited some of his, uh, some of the NBA guys to come in, at least to help judge. So we'll have a few guys in from, you know, from some of Larry's friends that will come in and help us out with that. That sounds like and fun. Just, yeah, it's so a lot for, of fun. So for kids and families that love basketball, Come on out to um, CBC, CBC next weekend. All the information is on the website, yes. which is, again, uh, LarryHughesWorld.com. LarryHughesWorld.com. Okay, yes. so there it is right now on the yes. screen. And then you've got uh, the Roaring Twenties Casino Night. Yeah, costume also. style. We're, we are going to dress up in the flapper dresses, and we're going to make Larry put on his big suit and a big head. And, Fun. And we're hoping that people will go to re Remember Me Costumes mm -hmm. to get their costumes to okay. participate because they will assist us with the portion of the proceeds. But we, we just want to have fun, make it fun, yep. but all for a good cause. So you've got two big events next weekend. Yes. All the info's on the website. Yes. Get out there 
um, and become an organ donor also. Exactly. <laughs> okay. That's most and help you guys. Thing. Exactly. Right. right. So thank you so much. I wish we had more time to talk. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, and you have to come back and, and fill us in on <laughs> okay. that donation, uh, the organ donors, and how that's coming along later in the year. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Vanessa, for being with us. We need to take another break. And when we return, we'll be joined by Isaac Bird and Cornell Young, two more athletes, founders of b the both sides of the 50. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on STLTV.net. Stay tuned to STLTV.